Alrighty, welcome back to GG Gaming. So it's finally here. The first of what, like the eight events that we got coming up uh, or something like that. Uh, but it is the seven star Pikachu Terror Raid boss. This was one of the first ones I was able to solo when I started the game. Uh, so, so exciting for it to come back around and already found something that works a whole lot easier than the first time around. So stick around. We're going to go through all the details on this Pikachu so you know how this raid works. And then we'll get over to the actual showcases in separate videos, which will actually show you what builds I have found so far. But I want your opinions. I want to know down there in the comments what builds you're using, what works really, really well for you. And hey, maybe we'll even give a shout out and a showcase based on your build ideas. All right, you know, you know how this works. You know how this works. Let's get into the details and talk about Pikachu. So he is a seven star Terror Raid boss, which means this Pikachu, move that mic a little bit, maybe. It looks good. Uh, this Pikachu hits like a truck for a little electric mouse. <laughs> you just have to prepare accordingly. Here's what we got to work with. He's a water Terra type, which is kind of interesting because he uses the move Surf um, quite a bit, actually. Coded, and he uses it, but we'll get to that. And then the held item is the light ball, so that's going to increase Pikachu's um, special attack and his attack stats. All right, so that's key. It's not a big deal. We won't worry about it. You could there, there are Pokemon that will steal that if you wanted to get rid of that out of the boat, but I'm not even going to focus on it. Maybe you guys can give me a good recommendation for how to deal with the light ball and actually make it useful, but otherwise, we're not going to worry about it. As I've said three times, let's get over and talk about the moves. All right, so here's what your Pikachu is going to be running. In this raid he's gonna run surf he's gonna run thunder he's gonna run play rough and iron tail now here's the key to these four moves as we see we don't have anything that boosts pikachu Puku, pikachu pikachu does not boost his own stats which is nice don't have to worry about that but he does have two special attack ones so surf and thunder are both special attack so that's this mark right here so both special okay play rough and iron tail are both physical attacks so we've got a split which means we can't prepare one way or another with boosting defenses one way or another. Kind of got to meet a middle ground and find something that works really, really well against this Pikachu. Stick around, we're going to get to that. But that's, that's really all you have to worry about. Now, these moves can be annoying. You've got Thunder, which will paralyze you. You have Play Rough, which drops your attack stat. And then you have Iron Tail, which drops the defensive stat. So, it, yeah, they can all be very annoying. There's a couple really great builds uh, with the... the um, Ability contrary, which kind of goes against this. I don't know that I'll highlight those just because every other YouTube out there has already highlighted those. Uh, one of those being superior. So you, there you go. There's a spoiler, one that works really, really great right out of the box. I'm not going to highlight those. We're going to go into some different ones and find some other things that work really, really well. But that is that. I'm typically go through the stats, but because this Pikachu was captured back in 225 when I first started the game. I have modified this one. This is my Mightiest Mark Pikachu, as we see here. So it is the one from the raid. But I put IVs into it because I was new and I wasn't doing the channel. And I wanted to see how strong this Pikachu actually was. So I boosted this thing. Typically, I don't do that to the seven-star Terror Raid bosses so that I can show you exactly what their IVs are. So ignore that. Let's focus on that background. So that little smaller light yellow area. We've got essentially special attack sitting right there, attack sitting right there. He doesn't have much on either defensive side, so you're going to be good to use special or physical defense against this Pikachu. It's going to work just fine. The speed stat, I did not touch. He's a 216, okay? Right there. Get above 216, you'll be able to hit him first. In fact, the builds I'm going to showcase do go first anyway. So. All right, so outside of the stats, the only other thing to point out is the ability, which is Lightning Rod. And Lightning Rod is extremely annoying because Pikachu is a water type. Water Terra, water type. And water has two weaknesses, grass and electric. You automatically lose one of those because of Lightning Rod. You cannot hit Pikachu with an electric tap. Attack, all right? Draws in all electric moves and boosts its special attack instead of it taking damage. Therefore, grass is our one option for this seven-star Pikachu. There are might be an ability or something that I know of that gets rid of Lightning Rod, but can't use Skill Swap because it gets a full Terror Shield right out of the gate. And we're going to discuss that here right now. Let's bring up the side-by-side -side and go through the Cerebi database like we'd like to do. Here is this Pikachu. I can get this to zoom in for us. Here we go. 
close that out and just let us look at that little Pikachu hiding in the grass. There we go. All right. So here's what to understand around this Pikachu raid and how it works. It's extremely simple compared to the other seven star raids. So once you understand this, it's a breeze to actually win this thing. And there's gonna be tons of solo opportunity for so many different grass type Pokemon and maybe even a few others. Um, right out of the gate, this guy is gonna end up using uh, his shield. Whoops, there we go, turn that back on. It's gonna be end up using his shield, 99, 99, et cetera. The shield goes the entire way. It's his full HP bar. You are gonna fight Pikachu with a max shield the entire time, no way around it, but it's not a big deal, trust me. And then he's going to also use Rain Dance and Surf. Turn zero. You don't even get an opportunity to respond to those. You're going to get hit with Surf, at least one Surf, um, right out of the gate. From there, it gets kind of easy. There's not really a whole lot left. He reduces Terror charges twice. You can actually get your Terror energy up before that even happens at 80%, no problem. And then he resets his own stats twice. Not a big deal. Which means you can boost yourself. I can boost my Pokemon freely right out of the gate and not have to worry about him resetting our stats because he only resets his. So we will not focus on debuffing Pikachu. We will look at builds that buff our Pokemon and make this thing a whole lot easier. Um, other than that, the only other things to point out, additional moves, you know, we do call that, it's just Rain Dance. That's it. Otherwise, he only uses the four primary moves we have discussed. Uh, he does have the uh, Light Ball. We already talked about that. Yeah, yeah, it's really easy. He's pretty straightforward. So let's get over and actually look at some of the build recommendations that we've got for this guy okay go to my boxes hit the youtube box and what we are going to do so we'll cover a couple of things here we'll cover pikachu no we won't we've already covered pikachu we're gonna cover the two builds the two showcases that we're gonna do uh some of the things i'm working on as well as some of the npc pokemon that are going to be beneficial to the raid those are the, your partners because you're soloing um in the raid and then check out the video link down there in the description on how to lock that party so you can consistently get the locked uh npc party always have the same npcs over and over if you want it not a big deal with pikachu honestly you'd be fine just running random but here's what we got to work with i'm going to showcase the ogre pond works absolutely amazing so definitely check out that showcase at the very little it's got two ways you can play it you can play it with ivy crowdgel you can also play it with horn leech both of which work awesome um i think horn leech is a little bit better but they both work absolutely phenomenal. Two different ways you can play it there. And then Mewtwo. We're going to do a stored power one shot KO. Okay. I'm, all, I'm not going to say one hit KO. We're going to say one shot KO because you do have to get your Terra energy up. And I know folks just kind of go all over that. Well, you didn't do it in one sh hit. One hit. Yeah, I don't care. I'm still having fun. And it's one hit. Takes like 90% of the HP. <laughs> there you go. So we're going to cover that. Uh, and then I'm also working on the Gastrodon build. Working on the uh, Palo Sand build. I think there's potential there. I just can't survive that initial surf consistently enough. So go look, mess with that one a little bit. And I think there's going to be an opportunity there. Otherwise, Pokemon for your party. Ones that you're going to want to work with. Um, Gardevoir and Arbolivia, of course, are your healers. Arbolivia shines really, really good in this raid. Why? Because it's grass and it throws down grassy terrain because of Seed Sower which means it powers up your grass type moves. Having Arbolivia in your party is the MVP of this raid, hands down. You don't have to, but it absolutely is the MVP. Outside of that one, Bellabolt, great, as well as all three of these guys because of the Intimidate ability. Bellabolt puts up Light Screen. That's the reason it cuts all your special damage. So Thunder and Surf do half damage. Uh, these three with Arcanine, Tauros, and... Um, Star Raptor all have Intimidate, which drops the attack stat, which cuts the play rough and also cuts that Iron Tail. So if you are struggling, if you're newer to the game, you don't have things super powered up, get some of these guys in your party to make it easier on you. That's why they're there. That's why I do cover this stuff. Okay. So there we have it. That covers everything for the Pikachu that you could possibly need to know. So as I said, go check out the showcase at the very least for that ogre pond because that ogre pond is extremely good and wrecks this pikachu